everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Return of the Lost, reuniting Lost Kin playthrough here with the uh, really, really cool mod in Total War Warhammer 2, uh, where we're continuing from just before the ba last battle we had last time where we got our butts absolutely kicked. Um, so yeah, we are at a point we've got to take a mission on. Uh, I've got Norskin Camp or the Lost Hold. We got our butts kicked doing Lost Hold last time, so I think I'm just going to do the Norskin Camp this one. So a smaller Norskin tribe has settled in the area, remove their presence, and paint the snow red. We might try the other one again in a bit if I get the option to, but basically I was getting my butt absolutely kicked by doing it. Um, we get some reinforcements here from Scorry. Uh, but, yeah, oh, Scurry has a pet mammoth. Cool. Um, hopefully this will go a bit better than the last one, because literally, if I didn't get my butt kicked, I survived, but I needed to protect civilians fleeing, and, yeah, it's one of, was definitely one of those maps you needed to fight twice. Anyway, brothers, we are an old race. The dwarves, we have been here before anyone. But the Norskans think they can take this land from us. Our home. Let's show them that these are our lands. And they shall not have them. Axe is out. Tonight we have Norskan to kill. And a village to burn. It's not very nice. <laughs> So, yeah, we've got to move up here and burn the Norskans village because we're lovely, friendly people. They are, let's be honest, the Norskans are not nice. Uh, is this ice or is this water? So, I think I'm going to come around on this flank rather than try and cross the river there because... That just seems much more sensible to me because trying to cross the water just... Just, just just feels like a bad idea guys okay forward whoops so basically we're just gonna go around and flank through from optional sneak up to their village for a surprise attack uh, not sure I can manage that. I guess I could go round the back. Oh well, failed. Optional, free the mammoth. So if I free the mammoth, I assume it's going to go nuts and break and damage their vi village. Uh, well, they saw us. I'm intrigued as how I'd sneak up. I suppose I'd have gone around there, but it's fine. I, as ye this is exactly what I wanted to happen, guys. Honest. To arms, the dwarven scum is here. Oh, how rude. God, they're just mean, guys. Just mean. It is a reckoning. I assume I'm ending up facing more of them because I did this, but... Now, vengeance! Dwarf warriors! Nothing can stop us! Anti-large buff for them! <laughs> oh, that's nice. Turn and hit them. Oh, 
Okay, that's fine. I'm happy with us being engaged that way. Ooh. You guys can move forwards and start throwing things at their hunters. You guys can start trying to take them out quickly. The skin wolves are already breaking. Counter charge, please. What do these guys actually throw? Uh, ah, there we go. It is explosives. Good. Okay, you guys can switch onto them. We're heavily engaged, but this is this is what the dwarves are good at, guys. This is how we're meant to be fighting. These guys die smoking fast. I'm not sure I'm a fan of the steel avalanche, but. Oops. I want no one running away. Keep hitting them until they break. It's 30 meter range, so it will affect some of these guys. Potentially. Vaguely. Oh god, my leader is dying. Support Gunner. Understood, Lord. Kill them. Quarrelers. What are they doing? See, if I'd have been able to get that mammoth out, we'd have done much better. But I, 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 I messed up, let's be honest. See, I think what you meant to do is sneak around in here and then I could have s smashed in or around this way to hit them hard and fast. Whereas I just took them... I just took them, basically. I went straight in at them. No subtlety. Oh God, that unit isn't breaking. No, kill the Lord. If I kill him, it's over. It's over. Victory! Ah, oh, shame I didn't get to, to, to unlock. Oh, he, he's come out anyway. Oh, I still got the optionals completed, apparently. <laughs> okay. It is a mod, guys, and it's this has to be a very difficult mod to make. So, yeah. We won. So we get paid, which is good. Though I don't think it's going to be enough to replenish. But that's good. This is always going to be a bit of a struggle to keep ourselves going, which is just what I like. Uh, I'll take the extra money, please, because there's no point buffing the local territory. I guess we're returning. Got them. See, I'm struggling because some of these units are costing more. Right, I'm going to send them to reserve. I don't know what that means. If that means I can just recruit them. Ah, they go into the mercenary ledger. It is time. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. So everything is technically recruited. 
Time for a reckoning. I guess I'm doing that mission, guys. This again, this is gonna be horrible. I'm not a huge fan of this mission, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully better than last time. I mean, I know what I'm doing a bit more last time. So 500 gold per civilian saved. So that's potential 5k if I save them all, which would be good. It's kind of what I need. Some of these missions aren't really making us enough money. So we've had this before, so I'm going to skip the movie. It's predicting a close defeat. I don't need to defend the line, which is something I did not realise last time. Basically, I need to defend against the harpies. So I need to be spread around the map, ready to deal with the harpies and keep them off, off the civilians, which is going to be the tricky bit. Um, and this bridge was the horrible bit because, well, it just felt a bit buggy. Yes. Iron breakers are fired on dim. Just spreading my guys around the map this time a bit. I'm leaving my ranged on here. He's staying there because he's nearly goddamn dead. I know some come from there, some come from there. It's trying to remember, of oh, 14. So if I get them all, I can make a decent amount of money, but saving them all is gonna be hard. Obviously we've got the jewel going on here, which we know what happens with. Pump those dwarven likes. Nothing can stop us. Come on, civilians, get your butts out of here. They're gonna go this way, aren't they? You guys murder them. Dwarf warriors. Off we go. Move now. You guys head up there. That's fine. Ah, oh, they've engaged us in melee. That's not what we wanted, but we'll have to cope. Are they actually coming down to attack us here, or are they going straight for the civvies? Yeah, they're going for the civvies. God damn it, this isn't actually what I wanted, but... So long as we save the civilians! Ah, good, they're attacking them. One of you guys can pull out to get a bit more fire on. Alright, keep chasing, keep chasing, keep chasing! God damn it! I don't like this mission. We're not going to get there in time. Fuck's sake. Kill us! Yes, Ready. Now. Iron breakers. Come on. Nothing 
can stop us. Okay, that's fine. My range to dealing with them. The civvies are hopefully going to get through. It doesn't matter. I'm never going to get or save all the civvies, so. Come on! For the ancestors. For mountain and okay, you guys can fall back a bit. Iron Those civvies are not doing brilliantly. So we're about to get a second unit of civvies out. For the ancestor gods. I need support here. Iron this mission is horrible, guys. Which, I mean, I guess it's meant to be, but still. Jeez. How easy it is for them to get around you is the real issue here. No, 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 no. I mean, that really doesn't feel like a good idea, but... There's more of them. Keep moving. God damn. They're going to get past me. Not much I can do about that. Gee. I wish I had got rid of the other unit now. I think I'm going to be redoing this one again next time, guys. I'm honestly not sure on the best way to do this. Okay, we did get them to come for us. That's good. It's this bridge is the horrible place to fight, but they're broken again, and this is what I don't get. It's, it's getting them to not attack my... Guys, I think I'd actually be best literally defending this route and ignoring the other route. Yeah, it's already over. I've already... Oh, fucking hell. We are going to get some more civvies to try and save before this ends, but I don't know if we're going to manage it. They're going to make it, thank God.
Get your butts to the exit. Get your butts to the exit. Okay. We may, we may come out positive here. Just. These guys need to get out. I'm definitely not saving any other civvies that side. Those guys may get out. I'm not sending any troops to save them, but if I can get that one out, that's good. Basically, I'm leaving it to the absolute last moment before we actually flee. Because there's a chance some of these other civvies will get out. I mean, if there's a chance they will head towards me, then change stance, so. But at the same time, I am being ready to hit that flea button to get us out. Nine. Oh, it's over. So nine, that's 500 apiece. Quick maths, it's not bad. It's uh, 4,500, so yeah. Um. I think we'll have made a profit on that one, but good god, I'm not a fan of that battle. That battle is horrific. It's designed as a clearing out my army one, because I suspect, because good god. Those harpies must be buffed as well, because harpies are not meant to be that tough. Jeez. On to glory for the ancestors. Summon me if you dare. Return. I mean, at least the fact we've got less units makes them cheaper. The mining guilds have been exceptionally active, believe Krakadrak, for decades. Besides their regular mining activities, a set of underground water passageways have been completed. Oh, yes. A small underground harbour has been established with access to the Black Blood River and further downstream to Drakesford and Schulvstrachan. Drakesford, sorry. Though nowadays most ships turn upstream when reaching the Black Blood River, Designated the lower for the lower giants how mountains. There are several mining expeditions that are attempting to connect the Black Blood River and Jupvan River. The lower levels of Krakadrak are as a consequence of the mining activity, seeing an influx of commoners. At the Eti, a noble clan, Skedbud's request, we find ourselves at one of the underground duck sites. Let's hope. He pays more than our last employer. God, yeah. Let's hope our mission's not as insane. I think I basically skipped a few missions, unfortunately. Subtle chance fill passageways. The cold winds of the surface. Anxiety despairs at the upper level's echo. Eh, almost silenced. I missed stuff there because it went through too quickly. A bit of warmth and courage still resides here, waiting for the winds to change. Inquiries to our employment have been made, requesting... Comprehensive escort duties. Oh, God. Within the hall, we meet a subordinate to Fane, Trorken Ironvane of Clan Sketford. Greeting. Greeted by a friendly grin, a few toasts and songs of old. We are taken to his private quarters. Yeah, I'm not singing, guys. I'm still not singing, guys. And so, the journey begins. Ooh. More singing. Not singing, guys. Up the stairs, my lord, is awaiting your arrival. Good God, after countless stairs and a few hallways, a large door appears. 
Greetings, Kamasa Vestgard. Congratulations on your latest victory. For too long have our kin been suffering. Our people grow weary. No friends in sight, only foes at our doorstep. The council have authorised me to cross the border to, into Kislev. To the grand city of Kislev. I am to set up diplomatic relations with the men of the south and seek out the royal envoy to crack, crack Kadron. I would request your service in getting there. You will be paid in full once we are back in Krakadrak. I want to be paid beforehand. Paid in full. Once back, a journey like this would take as short of a year. If my old maps serve me well. Hmm. Kislev. Kislev, sir. We have wages to pay. Dwarfs to feed. Shields to maintain. Niels, vein token iron vein of Clan Separd. The frozen feathered raisins will get you there. Uh, though under my command. Our journey begins... Once more will the sons of Grimnir travel out to Kislev. May it still stand tall beyond the mountains of Kin. Or beyond our southern Kin. Great, I've got a massive mission and I'm not going to get freaking paid for it, am I? <laughs> right. Yes. That's one of my big units if they need repl replenishing. My oh god! Anyway! I've done a quick save, so we'll see what happens. The underground route to Krakow Ravensvig has been swarming with foul monstrous for some time now. Until cleansed by patrols, it's safe to take the surface route west. Uh, west of the main mountain. We will set up camp beneath Gurley Pass and wait for calm weather. Let's march. Moving. I think we're about to run out of the uh, game because this is still a very limited game. I'm going to be attacked. Let us begin. Yeah. Anyway, guys, this is a battle for us to fight next time. Sorry. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough. Please do uh, like and subscribe if you are enjoying it and would like to see more. Other than that, guys, please pop a comment and let me know what you think. And yeah, as always, an extra special thank you to all of my channel members and patrons. That's Monsters Bound, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, and Coding Monster with an extra special thank you to William Farmer who really does help support the channel. Links to that all down below in the description. Other than that, guys, as far as I'm concerned, everybody who watches is awesome. Cheers, guys.